Okay, you guys, in today's video, I'm going to review a handful of Airbnb listings. I get this question all of the time. How should I set up my listing, photos, title, description, all that kind of stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna pull up a handful of listings that are doing a poor job and a handful of listings that are doing a great job and show you guys the difference and hopefully you guys will learn quite a bit. And before we dive fully into this video, I just wanna say I got the new mic. Can you guys see that? It's on my shirt. So let me know if this helps. The quality should be a million times better. I know my mic has not always been the best, but anyways, we're at this point now. Okay, so a couple things. I'm an official Airbnb ambassador. So what my job is, is to help new hosts join the platform. So my responsibility when a new host who's never been on Airbnb before will join Airbnb, I will guide them through captions, how to write a good title, description, I'll review all their photos and help them go live before they go live. That way, a lot of less errors and whatnot. This is 100% free, Airbnb picks up the tab. So if you are a new host, sign up for the link below. The reason why I explain that now is because I've looked at thousands and thousands of listings and I study this all of the time on trying to figure out how to optimize my listing, how to get more bookings, etc. I'm always learning as well, just like you guys are. Airbnb is constantly changing. There's a friend of mine, his name is called Optimize Danny. You guys should check him out. He's pretty much the leader in the game when it comes to optimizing your listing. I have learned insane amounts of information from him. I'll link his information below, but if you want extra help, if you already have your listing live and you're just not getting enough bookings or you're getting the wrong type of guest, reach out to Optimize Danny. He'll help you reorganize your entire listing and um, get you more bookings. So a couple things that I have learned in thousands of guest hosts and multiple listings at this point. So one important tip outside of this subject is don't 100% rely on Airbnb for for everything. You might wanna get on some other platforms. You might wanna think about direct booking. I'm actually building out a full direct booking website right now with my boys over at Boostly. So you might wanna check that out. But anyways, let's jump into a couple of top tips for when you're building out your listing. First and foremost, you guys, obviously location is gonna play a huge role in it, but let's take all of that kind of stuff out of it and let's just focus on the listing itself. So a couple things, title is back. So yes, you still want an important eye-catching, grabbing title, clickbait title, whatever you wanna call it. And still, your first five images are going to be everything. Your first image is gonna be the most powerful. Is that photo standing out? Is it grabbing attention? Is it different from all the other listings in the area? You're gonna to have to make that decision. Do you need to get professional photography? Probably. 99% of new hosts don't do this. They don't get professional photography, and that will help you a ton. And we'll dive into the difference between professional and just an amateur photo as well. Then you want to go into each category. So there's the space, which is a little section. Most people only fill out the space. Write a little story, a couple little sentences, list a couple major highlights. Then there's a section called optional space. It is 100% not optional. Make sure you fill that out. I see so many poor listings that barely have any information in there. It doesn't tell me anything as a traveler what this place is, and I'm, I just wanna book it, but I have no idea what I'm getting. So make sure you fill out as much information as you can on the listing. Also, Airbnb is always updating their amenities list. As many boxes as you can check off, the better you are at getting in the search engine. Blow dryers, you know, blenders, all those things that are listed, try to see if you can check off as many of those boxes as possible. Okay, let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna jump on the computer and show you some listings that I found that are doing a very poor job. And then let's look at some listings that I feel like are absolutely killing it. All right guys, so now I'm on the computer. Let's jump into it real quick before I fully jump into it. If you go to the Airbnb homepage, you will see nothing but absolutely gorgeous photos. Like look how cool this one is over here, unbelievable. So see how all these photos are in the center. They're more of like a square like Instagram used to be. And they either have great colors or they're a night or they're a great house or the front. So just check out all these photos, unreal. And check out your area on how you can get in here. 
So let's first look at some of these poor listings before we jump into some great ones. All right, well, let's jump into it. This house over here is in Idaho. So let's check it out. I'm not sure what CDA Retro Farmhouse is. Maybe that's just something I flat out don't know what that is, but if I don't know what it is, maybe there's others that don't know what it is. So this might not be doing you any good. So keep that in mind. Farmhouse is cool. Lake fun close to Silverwood. I guess Silverwood's probably a town that's close by. So that's good. But let's look into the photos. They got, you know, a five star. So look, this is working for them. And I'm not here to like rip them. I'm just trying to give my honest feedback. This is total random. I don't know this person, but the first five photos again are supposed to be everything. And right away, my first impression is a lot of hand-me-down type of furniture and design. So it doesn't really pop that way. The photos from the first five images are very poor. It looks like an iPhone photo. Let's go ahead and dive into it. These look like iPhone photos. They're very, very blurry and they're insanely distorted. It feels like I'm about to fall over. The place is nice and clean. These photos are just not doing it any justice whatsoever. Uh, yeah, they're all blurry. Like, look at this one. It kind of like, wait, what's going on? Uh, how do I get that way? So, and vertical photos, you guys, aren't gonna really do anything. You're wasting all of this real estate. So you can see these photos are extremely poor and there's literally a million shots of the kitchen pretty much seeing the exact same thing so that's unnecessary i would try to get the whole room you don't need to take a picture of just the bed plus i have no idea what i'm looking at you definitely need to add a caption in here and explain people what i'm looking at is this one of the bedrooms is this in the living room like you have no idea you got to understand i personally like having all the windows open and shot during the day so you can see that natural light coming in. Yeah, so no captions, a lot of vertical photos because it was definitely shot on the iPhone. I can tell. Why have this in your listing? Cool, it's a great photo, I get it, but this is not gonna make me want to book your place. I don't need to waste my time looking at a very poor photo of a photo. Make sense? I have seriously no idea what's going on here. Oh, it's a closet. This is not rotated. Another photo, completely delete. This one, delete, it's completely blurry. They did write a caption. All right, they did write a caption. Not really sure what's going on there. This was pretty much like a photo of the ceiling. Are you trying to show me that the ceiling has texture? I have no idea what's going on there either. Yeah, come on. And why do I need to see a picture of your owl? That makes no sense. If there was a caption under here with some crazy story, maybe, but you're just wasting your guest time and experience and you're probably just gonna anger your guest. Well, they're gonna might look somewhere else. See, you can see her in the photo with an iPhone. Yeah, I would definitely hire a professional photographer. It will definitely get you a lot more. What is going on with this deck? It either looks like the deck is falling down or the photo is super cricket. That's yeah, that seems kind of wild. It's a cute house. It has so much potential to be great. Good, it has reviews. I'm really happy. Also, you guys, this photo right here, let's go ahead and click on it. This is her photo. Um, it doesn't show her face. It has no description in her bio of who she is. A lot of people could think this is spam or a fake account because it's not filled out. You know, granted she has an ID and email and phone put in there, but no, person or a brand logo or anything like that. So very skeptical of what is going on here. And then again, very, very, very basic information filled out here. They didn't take the option to filling out more information. I see this all of the time. You guys are wasting so much energy by putting all this together and then just not filling out your listing complete. So I would definitely add more options. Let me know what this place has. List out some of the amenities, which I'll show you some really good listings and how they spell that out. All right. I think we've done enough on that listing. I think you guys get it. All right, let's check out this listing out here in Colorado. James, I actually helped James a little bit. 
Uh, cheerful lakeside two bedroom townhouse near everything. What? That's an interesting title. <laughs> cheerful, I'm not really sure what that means. Lakeside is something I would definitely put in there because I can see the lake. So I would have lakeside be the first. Two bedroom, again, you're wasting valuable marketing because two bedroom is right here. So now you're just wasting the guest time and you're also wasting your time. A townhouse, maybe, but it also says entire townhouse right here. So again, you're kind of just wasting your time. And near, <laughs> near everything. What does that even mean? Near everything. That doesn't tell me anything. Like, are you claiming that Disneyland's next to you? You got the pizza place next to you, a bar next? Be a little bit more descriptive. Maybe you want to say like lakeside, you know, near the city, walking distance to shopping. Can you swim in the lake? Maybe you want to say something, go swimming in the lake. Anyways, the title needs a lot of work for sure. And then the first five images again need to really tell a story. One thing I do like is he has five images that are different. Um, these two are a little similar. This one at the top is really dark. So I don't like that because it's really kind of hard to see. This as a cover image is not going to do you any justice. Why not get a drone, hire a photographer, get a drone since you're on a lake and get a shot that's a little bit more pulled back. That would be freaking awesome. Guarantee you would get more bookings. Let's jump into his photos. So yeah, his photos are iPhone. He did put some captions. Okay. But could you imagine? Also, I always like to be a little careful about putting the address uh, in my space, just FYI. Yeah, so all these photos are extremely poor. They're on an iPhone. A lot of them are vertical. Some of them are horizontal. I think if you hire professional photographers, again, again, I say this all the time. Yeah, so it's, it's just a basic listing, which is fine. I think these type of listings are gonna get hurt the worst when it comes to all this climate that's going on, you know, the Airbnb changes, guest traveling, inflation, recession, all this news. I think these type of listings are gonna get hit the hardest at this kind of price point. These are a lot more like budget travelers. Again, he barely filled out any of the space, didn't take the time to write down other options. You should definitely do that. I think what happens in this also, you guys, when you're building out your listing, like they, Airbnb tried to simplify it when you're building your listing. So if you're brand new, you might not even know. But when you go and hit publish, it gives you a ton more options and settings. So when you go publish, I always recommend going back into your listing and making sure you check off all these boxes. That way you can find out more options to write more. You can check off way more amenities, all that good stuff. So if he would just go in here and write a lot more in there, like, you know, he's got super fast Wi-Fi all kinds of good stuff in here. I think he can list that out and get a lot more bookings. Yeah, I mean, he's got a five-star review, so he's doing something right. People like it. You can definitely keep improving on this, you know? Keep up the five-star. Even if you have a perfect five-star, there's always room to improve because $99 is pretty cheap, so maybe eventually he can get it up to 120, 130, right? And find that sweet spot. So work on this listing, James, and then, um, yeah. Let me know how it goes. All right, let's jump into the next spot. I'll do one more of these not so great listings and then we'll jump into some good ones. Okay, waterfront. So if you're gonna be advertising waterfront, so on the title you're advertising waterfront, I would definitely have the main image be a waterfront, not the living room. That doesn't make any sense to me. I've been to Corpus Christi. It's actually really beautiful. I used to live in Texas. And I like having it say with a boat slip. I would definitely take out condo because look, it says right here, condo. So you're wasting space. Take out condo, doesn't really give you any justice. Uh, sunset view, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think you can get more creative with that. So definitely work on your title. Since titles are coming back, I would definitely work on the title. Let's go ahead and jump in here to description first. Almost, very close. <laughs> So she wrote some stuff here, not too bad. Probably can add a few more things here. But then she started to write stuff in the space, but in this space is where you can list on the water. Uh, can you swim in the water? Can you boat? Can you kayak? Can you rent stuff? Do you have smart TVs? 
What kind of beds do you have? Like this is where you can start filling in all that information. You were close. 68 bucks a night, like I get it, that's a great, great value. Uh, but you always wanna improve. How can you increase this nightly rent a little bit? Let's jump into some of the photos. Again, definitely shot on an iPhone. It's very blurry, no captions, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. Does this boat and paddleboard come with the house? You know, and just basic kitchen. You don't need, definitely don't need three shots of the exact same thing, pretty much. These photos are, again, very, very crooked. Get professional photos, people. Holy moly. I don't need to see that many shots of that kitchen. I have no idea what's going on here. This is really blurry, bad quality. There's tons of room for improvement here. Again, if you're gonna shoot on your iPhone, I made a video on how to shoot it on your iPhone. It does somewhat of a good job. This is, again, horrible photo. The quality is just really bad, so that's probably why you can only charge as much as you are. Two reviews, let's just check out the reviews since we haven't yet. Cozy condo, nice canal, okay. So maybe you can use some of the stuff that people are writing a caption about, you know. Steps away, canal, and by the pool, steps away. So maybe you can put that in your listing. Let's jump into some good listings. Now, let me know in the comments if you guys can see the difference right away. You've been hearing me talk about professional photos the entire time, look how beautiful this is right away. The second you see this, you're like, oh wow, this looks gorgeous. This first image is absolutely stunning. You got like this smoke from the fire coming in. You got the lights on, it's shot in twilight. It's definitely professional. You got an awesome drone footage that shows the lake. This one probably could be switched out because I kind of only just see the roof. Um, and then you got this cool hot tub. And then look at this, this is the house. Great title. Hilltop, it has a theater and a spa. See how he's bringing in stuff where as a guest, I'm like, ooh, theater, that's cool. It makes you wanna click, it makes you want to click. And that's important. So now let's look in here. He writes a nice little description. I'm a big fan of not too much copy, but sometimes you definitely need to add more copy. I still feel like he can add more copy here and you know, just list out a couple of the amenities, put some bulletin points in here and really list that out because it looks like it's a great space and he's charging almost $700 a night. Um, so maybe list that out. Let me just check out the reviews real quick. Okay, so he got kind of murdered on one of the clean, but who knows, it could be one guest with issues. I've had this happen before where everything's always been perfect and one issue and a guest goes nuts on the review and it just damages your entire thing. So everything else seems perfect. So I would probably say that's probably the case. And then look at these photos, you guys. Their photos are absolutely gorgeous. Like, can you guys see the difference here? It tells a story, it sets a mood, it really drags you into this listing. Just absolutely gorgeous. He did, I mean, these photos are insane. Very, very good styling, very good design. Now, this is where the direction of Airbnb is going, I believe. I think they're really trying to highlight these type of listings, and they're trying to get away from the mom and pop throw up some old furniture, bad design, all that stuff. They're definitely trying to push towards more of these listings. So I feel like he's gonna get a lot of push from Airbnb. Also, I love the photo, him and his wife, I'm assuming. It's cute, it shows me that they're real people. You can see in here, they yeah, it's his wife. And they wrote like a nice description. I love that. Well, this goes to show he's an entrepreneur, photographer, and videographer. See, he's a professional. That's why everything looks amazing. And he has other listings, so I can check out his other listings. Very, very, very cool. Good job, Mr. Sam. All right, this other listing I found when I was, I always watch Levi's videos. Levi does a review on Airbnb listings, mostly like very unique tiny homes. I'll put his link below. Levi is an amazing guy. It does like the most insane videos. And you can learn so much by watching his videos. He does these tours. So if you're an Airbnb host, definitely go check out his channel and subscribe. So let's see, modern treetop villa with a dip pool. See, I don't know what a dip pool is, but I have an idea. Makes me wanna click and a rope bridge. Like what? That already sounds so cool. 
33 reviews. It's in Texas, so great title. Definitely, I love these first five images. This one right here is a lot of trees, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. That would be the only one I would maybe replace. I feel like you can definitely get a better drone footage. But let's look. Wow, these are cool. And they don't have any captions, surprising. Yeah, this photo is a little blurry or like pixelated, so I would definitely, yeah, I would not have that photo in here. I'm really shocked they don't have any captions. Such a cool place. Yeah, the photos look a little, they're amazing quality. It just, on my end, it looks a little pixelated. I'm not sure why, but look how absolutely gorgeous this place is. Everything, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, but as you can tell, I can still see some room for improvement. Great shower, great, so cool space, no captions, which I'm totally surprised. So definitely room for improvement. Let's check out how they did their listing. Now this is a gorgeous way to build out your listing. Great job here. They talk about their Instagram handle right away. And then look, this is what I've been talking about from day one, list out the stuff that you have. I love putting it first. This is great, 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 great. Good job. 200 square feet, so I get a no right away. It has a mini split for my AC and heat, and I don't have to read a ton of stuff. And then you can find out other stuff. I think this stuff could be up in your space, but I think that's preference. A lot of people do it different ways. And I just wanted to show you, this is what a plus listing looks like. I'm not sure how active plus listings are. Um, Airbnb seems to push plus listings, but plus listings, um, this was one of my listings, but I don't get the option to write hardly anything. It's a little weird, kind of weird, I can't, but I love the format of a plus listing and the way they do their photos is very cool. Um, I'm in my slow season right now, so the rate is about half right now, but I just wanna show you the quality in the photos as well. I don't know why there's no captions. There was captions. Maybe plus took the captions out. But you can see the photos here. That, oh, they put captions in here, so that's cool. But you can see the quality of the photos. Everything is very retouched, great design, very well lit. The windows are all open, lots of natural light. So this is the kind of stuff that Airbnb has helped me learn and teach. The Airbnb actually made me paint this wall a different color to stand out in the photos. I thought it was a great idea. Actually, once I painted it, it uh, came out great. So I was super happy. So I'll send these links in all the descriptions so you guys can really dive into them and see. So real quick, if you need extra help, if you're already a host and you need extra help, this is my friend Danny. He optimized Danny. What you should do 100% is go and buy his book. I read this book on podcasts all the time or uh, audio book, sorry, and I read it, but I would definitely, definitely check out this guy. He's the master when it comes to optimizing. So you click this little button right here and you can optimize your listing. So for those of you guys have stuck around and watched the entire video, if you need extra help, if you're a brand new host and haven't built your Airbnb profile yet, join with my link below and I'll be able to help you through all of these steps, review your listing before you go live. Now, if you're already live, I would recommend checking out my boy, Optimize Danny. He will definitely be able to help you out. And I'll list all the other links below of the listings so you guys can kind of check them out. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to like guide you through how to build out a listing and give you my tips and tricks of what's been working for me in building my listings and getting like 80, 90% booked. But again, like, subscribe, comment, share. What else do you do? Everything else. I don't know. Ah!